Hey there, today I want to show you a new Chrome extension I've started using called Tabbox. Basically, it's a better version of tab groups within Chrome, and it solves a problem that I was having where I felt like I always needed to leave all of my tabs open all the time. So let me walk you through it. So if I tap up here on the top right, I can see all of the tab collections that I currently use. So I use these anytime I may need to retrieve a set of tabs in the future. So I open my two email tabs a lot. Um, when I was researching Yubai, I had five tabs while I was digging into that. Um, and then two related to work. Um, we have three different environments at Dorsada. We have our, our pre-release environment, our staging environment, and then our production environment. And sometimes I need to see if something changed from one environment to another as we're working through a sprint. And so if I click on this, I can open all three of those tabs and I can compare and contrast what is different between the three environments, if anything. Most of the time it'll be nothing, but it's a great way if we get a bug report, I can check to see, am I seeing that just in production or just in one environment or the other? And then lastly, if I'm configuring a new care plan at work, I sometimes need a lot of tabs to achieve that. And so I have nine tabs in this group that I use to bring back that environment. So instead of having to like leave those tabs open forever, I can basically just get the tabs set the way I want them and then save them and then I can call upon them at any time. So let me just tap on this you buy one to give you an example. And I've got uh, Amethyst running, so it's gonna go side by side, but let me just toggle. And then now you'll see that those five tabs come back. And so now I'm right back to where I was the last time I was using this. Um, and if I need to make a change, for instance, so I noticed that there's actually two um, copies of this Notion document, I can get rid of that one. And then I can just go over to tab box and I can click update on it. And now it'll just be four tabs. So the next time I come in here, it'll just be the four tabs instead. So let me show you how to create one of these by default. So let's say, let's start with something fresh. Let's go to the tab box website. And here's their website. If I scroll to the bottom, I can go and find their Twitter and their GitHub. And let's say I needed to call upon this in the future. I can now save this as a tab set in Tabbox. And one of the interesting things about Tabbox is if you set up a Chrome web group, excuse me, a Chrome tab group, it'll honor that as well. Um, that way you can tell which things were part of the group and which things you've added later. And so like if I tap here, see how that's not in the group and this is, it allows me to keep some form of clarity of like what is part of the group and what isn't once I start actually working through my day. So now if I wanna save this into Tabbox, I just tap over here and then give it a name. We'll call this Tabbox and I'll hit add and there it is. So now let me close out of it and I'll open up Chrome, go to Tabbox, click Tabbox and there are those tabs. This has helped me stay much more organized with my tabs and I'm much more likely to close them out when I'm done for now. So something that would have commonly happened to me before is I would be working on some project at work, I'd have to go to a meeting, and then I'd have this interesting uh, mental dilemma around, should I leave these tabs open for fear that it's gonna take me a while to get them set back up, or I might forget a tab. Now I can just save that to tab box, close them out for my meeting, be focused on my meeting, and then once the meeting's over, I can pick right back up where I left off. So that's how I use tab box. A big shout out to Gil Goldstein for writing it. It's been a huge lifesaver for me. I hope it is for you as well. And if you'd like to see more Mac OS productivity tips in the future, please subscribe at the bottom and then I'll have a playlist of those right there. Thanks, have a great day.